What the hell is this? Freeze! You're in a restricted area. Stop what you're doing. Move back from the computer. Soldier, if you value your life, you'll walk away. Where the hell is Juhan? He's supposed to be at his post. Put your hands behind your head. Don't resist. I warned you. Sergeant Hawk, we have a traitor. We have to neutralize him. So fucking easy, wasn't it? And uh, what, what was his name? Uh, uh, Sergeant Hawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was taking ease on every single one of us, especially Baxter. You see that today? Yeah. So what do we have here? Couple. Want to be badass. So my detail was a piece of cake, wasn't it? Well, how about I take y'all through one more class? Combat torture 101. Cool. Get on. No, sir. Now, boy. No, sir. I said get on your feet. I gave you an order. I said get on your feet, you worthless sack of shit. I told you to get your worthless ass up. Beat your sack of shit. Corporal Bastard, you are a worthless sack of shit. You would not last five minutes in combat. You worthless sack of shit. Take the side off. Are you dead? I said take that side off, boy. Now. Very good. You're not deaf after all. Now, bastard, you see your buddy here who's laughing like this all the big goddamn joke? Stop. I want you to shoot that person. I want to fire the comrade, sir. This is a combat scenario. Any disobeyed order from a commanding officer is considered treason. You will shoot him or I will beat you to death. Sack of shit and let's go. Move!
soldier. I'm going in. جگر بزنی تو بخور وزنت کم شده ما چاخت خوب میکنیم نگران اصلا نباش
Sir, do you have any change? Please, sir, do you have any change? I'm really, really cold and hungry. Mister, do you have any change? What? Let's see how tough you are. How does that sound? All right. You see that woman? Over there? Mm-hmm. I want you to bring these cookies to her. Tell her you are selling them for your sick mother. Why? Do what I say. Take them. Okay. Go. Okay. I'm selling cookies for my sick mother. How much are they? They're a dollar. Here you go. Thank you. You think that was a nice thing you did? <laughs> Take a look. Look again. What happened to her? Those cookies I gave you were laced with an extreme amount of succinylcholine. As we speak, her heart is shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> You're a murderer now. <laughs> Don't cry. We have so many more things we are going to do. <laughs> nightmares lately. Do you want to talk about it? No. That's nothing. That's okay. Come here. I love you. I always know that. I love you too. Alright. Michelle, we gotta get going. Okay. This is Mia. Mia, this Hi. is my father. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's happening? How you doing? Good. Come on in. Sit down. Thank you. Jack, you have a wonderful house. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Mia. I, I'm kind of thirsty. Do you have any water? Right down the hall, in the kitchen. Okay. Here's your chance. So, Dad, I, uh, came here to ask you something. Yeah. You look a little nervous. I am. Well, I know it hasn't been that long, 
But I'm in love with Mia. I want to ask her to marry me, and I want to get your blessing. <laughs> really? What you thinking? You just graduated college. You think you have enough money to support her? I'm thinking you got her pregnant. Did you get her pregnant? <laughs> Dad, you are such a jerk. Why would I think you would understand? And no, she's not pregnant. I understand a lot more than you think. All right, well... Mom would be proud. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, go ahead and mess up your life. Following my father's footsteps. just happened. Real nice seeing you, Dad. What do you mean you're going? Wait a minute. Let me tell you something, Pop. What would you know about doing the right thing? You're a fucking criminal. You have no idea the issues I've had in my life, you little shit! Baby, hey, are you okay? Babe? Hold on, whoa. Okay, let me get you. Let's go. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Tyler, what are you doing? Oh, this complicates things now. Damn it! I'm gonna have to change it all up. Baby, what? Stay with me. Hey, we're almost at the hospital. Hey, baby, I have something important to tell you. Janet. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. You were in an accident. My girlfriend was in the car. I I'm not sure. I, I heard that she was with you. Well, can I see her? Where is she? You have to stay calm. You know what? There was um, a guy that stopped by and he left this for you. It may help you. Was he military? No, Tyler. Just a man in a suit.
Dear Tyler, I'm the lawyer that represented Mia with her estate. The news I have to tell you will be painful. But she made it very clear that if anything happened to her before she had a chance to meet you, it'd be told to you now. Mia found out that she was three months pregnant carrying your child and set aside five million dollars she inherited from her aunt. Enclosed is a key to the safety deposit box in the address of First Security Financial. Attached is a personal letter from Mia. Sincerely, Gary Lowlasky. Oh, hey Tyler, how are you feeling? Well, I'm alright. Well, fortunately the surgery went well. The accident you and Mia were in was very severe. The truck that hit you flipped you over and luckily someone was there to drag you to safety before it exploded. Mia's gone, I'm sorry. Hungry. Shut up, little one. We did exactly as instructed. You did well and will be well rewarded.
Now keep moving. We have more to do. Then we'll find food and shelter. Sir, you're bleeding. What the fuck do you want? I have a job for you. What kind of job? This has your information. Must be a pretty big job. What a disaster. Oh, Rilo's gonna have to fix things. This is such a fashion emergency. Don't worry, Rilo will take care. My little Paul Bunyan. I like to chop you down like a cherry tree. Mm -mm. I got what you mean. Welcome to Martin Swanee's. How may I help you? Yes, I'm here to pick up a car. Okay. 
And you are? Tyler. Yes, Wade, there is a Tyler here to see you. Okay, I will let him know. Thank you. Tyler, nice to meet you. Hi. I've got your paperwork ready. Follow me. Nice. There. Congratulations, my friend. Enjoy your car. Thank you very much. Hey, Tyler. Thanks, Wade. Perfect timing. Don't worry. I got plans for you. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. You're healing very nicely, my dear boy. Oh, 
Yes. Perfect. Just what I need. deserts since I was very young. It was then I lost my family. They were taken from me. I don't know if they're alive or dead. That's when these dreams started. Visions, if you will. A world full of chaos and destruction. I've been beat. I've been tortured. Yet I escaped. I escaped the scientists that had no mercy, only evil. But I escaped, and I must survive. My future feels bleak. I don't know my own fate, but what I do know, the future after I'm gone will only be...
word from our producers that there's a possibility of a terrorist attack on the Upper East Side. attack on the Upper East Side. We have just learned that one of our sister affiliates is indeed on that bus along with 50 other people. The man that is involved in the terrorist has a vested bomb that is strapped to his body along with um, machine guns and is threatening many people on the bus. She has been reporting information secretly to, to us from her phone. Nobody's gonna die! Don't fucking move! One flinch and you're gone. You! Get up! Get on your feet right now! Come here! No! Feet right now, get... No! Don't press me! Get up! Get up here right now! I'm gonna shoot one of them hostages! You want that? You want that? I said get up to the front of the bus right now! Get up here! No! I'm get not! Up. I'm not going up there! Get up here right now or you're dead! Get up here! Get up here now! I'll give you a count to three! One! Two, three. Oh my gosh, did you, did you just see that? They just shot that woman's husband. That's crazy. Well, looky here. You've been a busy little girl. You want to report something? I'll give you something to report. Come here. To the American people, there's more to come. We're the American International, and we will be heard! Good afternoon, this is Veronica again with more information about the bus that has been hijacked on the Upper East Side. We have discovered from our sister affiliate that the person responsible for the terrorism, his name is Andrew Clark. He is part of the American Internationals, who has been known for many bombings throughout the cities. And we, just one moment. Thank you, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just learned that the bus has exploded along with our sister affiliate and the remaining passengers of that bus. Those poor people. I feel so bad for that. Don't surprise me if the government's involved. I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Yeah, I am. You sound concerned with what's going on. I thought I could be a friend. <laughs> a friend? Okay. What makes you think I need a friend? You see what's going on on this TV? Yeah, but I mean... It's much bigger than that, and it's gonna get worse. I know we don't know each other, but what you see on the TV, it's a, it's a lot bigger than that. We need to get out of here. So let's go. Well, okay, whoa. Well, go where, okay? You don't know me, and I sure as hell don't know you. My name's John. If you want to make it through what's coming, you'll trust me and learn to fight for what's ours. I built a hideaway. Everything we need to prepare for battle. Everything Sector 21 wouldn't expect us to have. How do you know I can fight? 
You don't remember me, do you? No. Should I? Sector 21! Put your hands up! You are under arrest! Soldier, search him for weapons before you put the cuffs on, and then drag him away. coming from. You're wrong. My name is Gates 711 And what is your name? Uh, hi, V2711. My name is Natalie. Hello, Natalie. John said I should be expecting you. Your voice has been programmed for voice activation. You're equipped with special armor, weapons, GPS system. Would you like to run a voice test, Natalie? Wow. Uh, voice activation. Okay, um, let's see what this baby can do. All right, um, activate armor. Let's get out of here. I think we need to get moving, like now. I am not a baby. Touchy. Come on, would you just go? We have to go, like, right now. Then voice test. Okay, um, activate armor. Armor activated. Natalie. There's a car blocking the road. Would you like to activate weapons and destroy or go around it? Yes, activate and destroy. Natalie, there are civilians. No, go around, go around! Activate the GPS, John's hideaway. Yes, activate the GPS and take me to John's hideaway. Okay. Hey, V2711, stop! It's too fast. Just stop, okay? Slow down! Natalie, we are approaching John's hideaway. Excuse me. Who are... Or should I say, what are you? Boris is the name. And you must be Natalie. How do you know my name? John has been expecting you. Wait, how how has John been expecting This way, please. What? I will show you to your room. Oh. I suppose you're the one John's been looking for. Will you things stop popping out of nowhere? You're giving me a heart attack. I already see you're gonna be difficult. Difficult? You don't even know me. I know enough to know you're gonna be difficult to train. Train for what? <coughs> Look, Boris. Yes, madam? Look what John sent me. How am I supposed to train this? You have trained many with great success. 
I suppose this thing will be no uh, different. Uh, stop calling me a thing. I'm a human. Let's go. Sure, why not? I got nothing to lose. What you doing? You're up early. What is that? It's none of your concern. Avanti, I feel like I've earned your respect by now. I feel like I deserve at least one straight up answer. Still the difficult one. No, I just, why can't you just answer me about something? You will learn and you will soon see. We have to go, come on. Hello, light eyes. Hello, Boris. Hello, Boris. Have you engineered the electrical voltage power distribution and integrated the circuit sensor into the aero safety device as John instructed? And if the safety device fails? The V2711 is equipped with safety backup. Very good. Let's go.
Okay, so right about now would be a great time for you to start answering some questions. Like, what's going on? Sector 21 is part of the government's new militia. They know who John is, where he came from, and the secrets that can destroy them. Because of the indirect link you have with John and your background, they are coming for you. And when were you going to tell me this? Auntie.